Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pundit. In this Microsoft Fabric Master Program. So in today's session, we will talk about how to incrementally copy new or modified files from Lake House and how we can able to copy them into the output folder. So in this particular lab, what we are trying to do, we will see incremental load with respect to the when the source is a storage how we can able to incrementally copy the files for that i'll be creating a two lake houses one is source lake house second one is a sync lake house in source lake house i'll create an input folder whenever a new file or whenever an existing file is modified in the input folder i want to take such type of new or modified files from the input folder of the source storage and I want to copy them into the output folder in the sync lake house. Let's try to implement the lab now. So just to click on the data factory team. So go to my workspace. I'll be creating a source lake house. Click on this, click on lake house. I'll create a source lake house 001, create it. So once the source lake house 001 is created, so just to create an input folder in this, I'll be creating input folder in this. Once the input folder is created, we can just upload the one file. Let me just click on this. Let me upload a daily file. What time this daily file is uploaded? If you see the daily file, which is uploaded exactly at six o'clock, 38 seconds. So what I want, I want to copy the files which came after six o'clock, two minutes. Whatever files which came into this input folder, at six o'clock, two minutes, I want to copy such type of files into the sync lake house in the output folder, okay? So I'll go to my workspace, click on new, click on the lake house. This is my sync lake house 001. So this is my sync storage account. So within the sync storage, I'll be creating a folder called output folder, I'll create, okay? Just I'll create an output folder. So now what I want, so I, if you look at the source, source is having a file which came at six o'clock, 38 seconds. But I want the files which came after six o'clock, two minutes. Do we have any files which came at six o'clock, two minutes? No. So we can just wait for six o'clock, two minutes. After six o'clock, two minutes, I'll be uploading a file in this particular input folder. Let's wait for a second. Yeah. Now, if you see the time is six o'clock, two minutes. Now, what I'll be doing, I'll be uploading a file called weekly file, okay? So I'll be uploading, uploading a file called weekly file in this, which came after six o'clock, two minutes. So I want to copy only the file which came after six o'clock, two minutes. Like this, if you have any specific timestamp, after this particular date and time only, I want to copy a data. So I want to copy the files which came after this particular date and time, you can able to copy the data very easily by following this particular uh, lab. Okay, let's see how we can able to copy the file which came after six o'clock two minutes. For that, go to my workspace, click on this, click on data pipeline. So the data pipeline, I'll say pipeline for incremental data ingestion, okay, data ingestion underscore daily. Just create this particular pipeline. Yeah, so once the pipeline is created, so we simply have to use a copy activity for this. Click on this, click copy activity to the canvas. So just to select the copy activity source data set set within the workspace, I have a my source lake house. So within the source lake house, I have a folder called input. But within an input folder, sometimes multiple new files can come multiple existing files can be modified. So I want multiple files. That's why we need to choose here wildcard file path. So source folder is input, file name is star because all the files that are there in the input, which are came as a newly and which are modified recently, only those files I want to take. So if you just use this particular configurations at the source side, it is going to copy all the files from the input folder because there is no condition to limit which files you want to copy from source. That's why you need to go to advanced. Here, I need to mention this time in a UTC. For example, I can just go here. You can see there is a, some uh, website which basically converts your IST to UTC. So six o'clock, two minutes, right? I want six o'clock, two minutes. 
सिक्स ओ क्लॉक टू मिनिट्स मीन इन आई इन यू टी सी इट विल बी ट्वेल्व थर्टी टू पी एम तो वॉट वी वॉन्ट वी वॉन्ट टू प्रोवाइड हियर डेट इज सेम टूडे डेट टाइम इज ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक हियर यू कैन एबल टू सी टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक वॉट इज दट थर्टी टू मिनिट्स ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक थर्टी टू मिनिट्स आफ्टर ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक थर्टी टू मिनिट्स वॉट एवर फाइल्स केम दोज फाइल्स आई वॉन्ट टू कॉपी ओके सो डेट इफ यू सी टूडे डेट यू नीड टू मेन्शन टू so today date is 15th and 12 o'clock 32 minutes after 12 o'clock 32 minutes whatever files came those files i want what is this 1232 it is in utc if you convert that 1232 from utc to ist it will become as 62 okay now these are the conditions that i am putting so that whether source side file is modified or newly uploaded doesn't matter whether modified time stamp is after 6 o'clock 2 minutes or not only it is verified if it is a modified time is after 6 o'clock 2 minutes means all such type of files will be picked from the source we will be copying them into the sync lighthouse within the sync lighthouse we want to copy them into the output card drive that's it just to validate this you can see there is no errors found you can save this particular pipeline once this pipeline is saved we can simply use a run button here to run the pipeline just go to output refresh it we can able to see only one file is going to be copied because in the source like house if you remember we have only one file which is came after 6 o'clock 2 minutes 6 o'clock 2 minutes i'll show you one more scenario to give you more clarity on this you can just to see this copy activity is running click on this copy data one so it is still in progress just wait for a second yeah it is succeeded now you just click on this again to see only one file is copied what is that one file it is copied let's go to sync lighthouse and we can able to see within the sync lighthouse output folder side what is the file that we have here you can see credit_weekly.csv because this is the file which came after 6 o'clock 2 minutes you can see Let's say now what I want to do. I want to copy the files which came after six o'clock six minutes. I want to copy the files which came after six o'clock six minutes. So in this case, what I'll be doing, I'll be re-uploading the credit underscore uh, weekly dot csv file. I'll be re-uploading again so that when you make maybe you can modify some data and you can re-upload or you can upload without any change also. Okay, because it will be considered as a latest file okay it will be considered as a modified file and it will be updated the time stamp with the latest you can see after 6 o'clock 6 minutes i want to take the files if you see this is a new file 6 o'clock 7 minutes it is updated this is a existing file for this also the time stamp is updated as a 6 o'clock 7 minutes 20 seconds now i'll go to my pipeline now again okay before i go there what i'll do this sync file whatever is there save side i'll be deleting it so that we don't have any file in the sync set sync sync output folder now go to pipeline once again within this pipeline i'll be making a very small change that is here click on this now i want the file which came after 6 o'clock 6 minutes if you see 6 o'clock 6 minutes ist means in utc it will be 1236 so i need to put here 1236 whatever file came after 1236 can you just give me that particular files whatever file came at 6 o'clock 6 minutes okay 6 o'clock 6 minutes i est means 1236 whatever files came after 6 o'clock 6 minutes i want only those files now i just modified this you can just to save this particular changes okay then you can run the pipeline now we will be seeing two files are going to be copied into the sync let's see now. just click on this copy data one we can see there are two files are read and two files are written we can go to sync lighthouse and we can see what those two files monthly and weekly but daily file was daily file was not taken okay so like this within this particular copy activity we can simply use the okay so last modified start time to say that 
from which time you want the file. So, okay, let's say this 1236 I want to be fixed, but this date should be generated dynamically. Okay, 1236 time is fixed, but date is keep changing because today means if I run pipeline today, it should generate a today date. If I run a pipeline tomorrow, it should generate a tomorrow date. How you can able to do? Okay, that is also very simple tip. You can just use some functions here. What those functions does? Format date time is a function which basically generates, uh, which basically format the time that you generate. So I'll be generating a UTC now. Okay, this UTC now I want in a format YYY iPhone MM iPhone DD. The time is fixed, right? 12 o'clock, 36 minutes, 0 hours. Uh, sorry, 12 hours, 36 minutes, 00, 0 hours. Okay, this is a 24 hours format I'm giving you. Just click OK. Now, with this dynamic formula, if you run, what happens is automatically, if you run a pipeline today, today date it will take. Tomorrow, if you're running, tomorrow time it will take. But time is same time. Every day I'll run a pipeline so that it should take the files which are modified after this particular timestamp in that particular day. For example, if I run it today, today at the six o'clock, six minutes onwards, whatever files are modified, it will give me. Tomorrow, if you run it, whatever files are modified, tomorrow at six o'clock, six, six minutes, like that, okay? Now, with this, again, let's run the pipeline, save this particular changes, okay? Before I move on and run the pipeline, what I'll do, I'll just go and delete the output folder itself. What will happen if you delete the output folder? That also, let's understand. So what happens when you delete that folder is copy activity is capable to create the folder and load the files. Let's understand. Yeah, we can see here uh, whatever files are modified, uh, like whatever, how many files it modified, uh, sorry, how many files it copied. You can see two files from source it read and two files it has written into the target. Okay. So, yeah, we can able to see at what time pipeline started, all those uh, details also we can able to see it here. And if you go to the uh, input side, Within the input side, we can see modified date start time. Modified date uh, start time, if you see, so today date it has generated, okay? So tomorrow, if you run the pipeline, it will generate a tomorrow date, but time is fixed. We fixed the time tip, okay? So this is how you can just go to the sync lake house. Now you can see output folder is created. Within the output folder, you can see these two files are copied, okay? So this is how you can able to copy files incrementally from lake house, in source lake house to the Single I hope everybody understood. If anybody have any doubt, please put your uh, uh, doubts in the comment section. I'll answer those things. I request all of you to subscribe my YouTube channel and support me and encourage me. Thank you.